it looks like I can keep you guys inside the car and talk to you while we're driving. I should have brought my microphone and then I could just plug you in. Anyways, this is, we're not quite into Needon Isles yet, but this is the MLK Rec Center, which has a skate park, um, gym, basketball courts. They do some of the summer camps from there. Um, and then we'll be into the neighborhood here in just a moment. As soon as I figure out how to get all this done. This is a, a pretty large neighborhood. There are like nine units to it. And we just crossed San Christopher here, or Wilson Street, and we are actually in Dunedin Isles now. I'm going to pull over because there's someone behind me. And I feel like driving slower for you guys. So there is a park here. So we are in the uh, Catholic Church, 
property now. This is our Lady of Lords, and it is a church that is very involved in the community. A lot of the community uh, worships here, uh, Catholics, of course, and they the Fall Festival is held here in one of their big um, empty fields. So that's the Fall Festival is uh, like rides and a midway and music. Um, it's held in October, so it's like an October fest also combined with it, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, pretty much everyone in Eden comes to ride the Ferris wheel and the rides, and you know, it has those spinny festival rides and stuff like that. Um, this is the actual church building itself, and there is also a Catholic school here, a private Catholic school, um, that hosts the Boy Scouts and uh, a lot of the church events, breakfast on Sunday mornings, and then the property also has the Economy Center where, uh, where like the Saints and Sinners Ball and a lot of the community uh, fundraisers are held. So it's a pretty large property and it backs up to Hammock Park, so it's very central and easily easy to get to. And it is right here in the middle of the Dunedin Isles neighborhood. And you can see the church, or the, um, I'm coming around the church. The church is an almost circular building. And then there on the other side of the parking lot, you see is the school. And then straight ahead here, on the other side of that parking lot is the Conme Center. So we'll pull through here. And right next to the church, so this here is the school, the private uh, Catholic school. It's a private school, but anybody can attend, of course. You don't have to be Catholic. Just know that they do, just know that they do, um, you know, worship, uh, Bible classes. And then right next to it over there is the elementary school. So we'll we'll pull back through. School is almost out for both of these guys. But we'll pull out and go over there to the elementary school. That is San Jose Elementary. And it is one of three public elementary schools in Dunedin. It looks like we can't go through any of this. We'll have to go all the way around. So San Jose is one of three public elementary schools, and it is, um, it's where my son went to school, actually. We live about three quarters of a mile away from San Jose, and uh, so it was, uh, you know, a good school. He had a good time there. He had enjoyed his, his years at San Jose. It's a K through, or pre-K through uh, fifth grade. And again, very walkable for anyone who lives here in the Dunedin Isles neighborhood. In my son was in before and after school care, and they do offer before and after school programs there. He was in before and after school care when he was through fourth grade, I believe. And then in fifth grade, we decided he was old enough to go ahead and ride his bike to school in the morning and be responsible for that. He was 10, so 10 or 11, 10 going, 10 to 11. So he was old enough and he rode his bike to school in the morning and in the afternoon, he rode his bike home and then just called me when he got home to let me know that he was home and find out what his chores were before he could play. In third and fourth grade, because we lived so close, I would park at home and then take the dogs and walk to the school to pick them up and then we would just walk home. 
So it was a nice, you know, little mile and a half, three quarter of a mile each way, mile and a half walk, and a nice time to spend together on that 15, 20 minute walk home with him in the afternoon. And it was, it was good for the dogs too. So this is the main entrance street into San Jose Elementary. There's one here and then there's a second street for the for the car circle to drop off cars. This is the bus entrance and the uh, parking and teacher entrance. And then there is another entrance to the car circle and also some more staff and teacher parking. Just going to pull right through. I'm not sure if kids are gone for the day or nope, I see these bicycles, so some kids are still here. They used to do today's Wednesday, and they used to do drop off, not drop off, um, early release on Wednesdays. I don't know if they still do that or not. My son is 17. So he doesn't go to, you know, it's been a few years since he was in elementary school. So this is the main road through and then there's the car circle pickup over there. And the main road through, you come in on one neighborhood street and go out on another neighborhood street. When we first moved here, to Dunedin, we um, lived in this little peach house. We rented that little peach house until we bought our house. So we were right close to the school and it was, it was really super convenient. He was in kindergarten at the time, my son was. So that was, it was great to be that close when we first moved here. Are getting on to this is um, San Salvador which is a main east-west road through Dunedin Isles and now I'm turning on to San Mateo which is the street to the south of San Jose School The stop sign up here is the south entrance or the car circle entrance to the school. This gate they normally keep locked when it's during school hours so that people can't access it. So the only way to get into the school then is through the other entrance and having to go through the office. So this is um, the south side of the school.
here now behind um, this street behind the behind the school is Hammock Park and we're headed towards the main entrance to Hammock Park but there are some side trails we just passed one back there there are side trails to get into the park to the, to get onto the nature trails and all of those nature trails intertwine and meet back up in the main part of Hammock Park and and then they also lead off into other neighborhoods and over to Highlander Park and to the and to the ball fields. So here to the right we have Andrews Chapel which is historic. And then we have Hammock Park. And I they're set up for uh, the Polar Express, and the they do some events out of Andrews Chapel now at this time of year in the winter, at the holiday season. I do have a more in-depth look at Hammock Park and walk through Hammock Park. I'm not going to get out and walk through now. There is a uh, several miles of walking trails. There is a kayak launch, disc golf, um, an observation tower, a playground. They do nature camps here in the summer. And um, what else? A butterfly garden. So there's a, there's a whole lot of stuff here to look at in Hammock Park, but this is this park is accessible from the Dunedin Isles neighborhood, and leads off into other neighborhoods and other parts of Dunedin. So it's a great way to get around. Also coming off the Pinellas Trail, uh, because it, the trail has a, a a branch that leads right out here to the park. So it's easy to access easy to come to the park and then easy to head from here to other parts of the city. To the right here we have to the left is Andrews Chapel, to the right is the entrance to the disc golf and then straight ahead is the little um, access to Pinellas Trail. This stop sign here is the Pinellas Trail. The trail, of course, is the 39 mile long exercise path that leads from Tarpon Springs all the way down to St. Pete. 
and it goes through several downtowns and uh, Dunedin is one of those. We are still in Dunedin Isles. This is some of the older parts of town and as you can tell, paved, we have a uh, brick paved streets here. So some of our older streets in Dunedin. Dunedin Isles is all single family homes. There might be a couple of duplexes back in here, but for the most part, it's all single family homes. Um, some backing up to the park, some to the trail, some to the school, some to the church. And then across 19A, where we'll head here in a moment, you also have uh, waterfront properties. So part of Dunedin Isles is waterfront. Very small part, not much of it is. There is a big mix here of newer homes, older homes, quite a few homes from the 1950s and 1960s, some from earlier than that. We even have some from back in the 1920s and 1930s. Um, in fact, there are some apartment homes. Uh, a couple of these older, bigger homes have been converted to uh, apartments. So we're going to turn here onto San Jose and then head over to the part of Dunedin Isles that is across 19A where there are some waterfront parks and some waterfront homes. And if you'd like to, okay, we'll wait on that. on to 19A. This is the road that runs up from, you know, it's alternate 19. It's called a bunch of different things in different areas. It runs right through downtown Dunedin and up to the causeway. So it's one of our main north-south roadways. seen my waterfront parks video this is the neighborhood that those parks are located in this first one up the road here is Mira Vista Park and it's the northernmost of these parks they're just little neighborhood parks. There's not really any parking. They're, they're made more for uh, local neighbors to take a walk in the evening and come see the sunset or, you know, take a little nature break outside or something like that. They're not, they're not parks made for hanging out in, in the, the entire day. So that's Mira Vista Park straight ahead. And now we're going to just mosey on south through this neighborhood which is the waterfront portion of Dunedin Isles. The houses to the houses the houses to the left are the waterfront homes and then to the right we have the non-waterfront homes. Looks like there's quite a bit of tree work going on around here.
bid you all a farewell. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, be sure you stay till the end to grab that map of Dunedin Isles to see where where I went and where the boundaries of this neighborhood are. Kind of everything that it encompasses. Uh, be sure to grab the buyer's guide in the comments and in the description below. And of course, like, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, share this with your friends who might be interested in moving to this area, and of course, subscribe to the channel so that you can get more of these neighborhood tours and other information about Dunedin and the entire North Pinellas area, which is Dunedin, Safety Harbor, Oldsmar, Palm Harbor, and Tarpon Springs. Thanks so much for being here. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.